we were getting ready to move <clears throat> before the Eddie fight. Me and my wife were packing up, and I had I had uh, totes and all kinds of stuff full of, of fight-worn stuff. And I'm like, man, what am I going to do with all this junk? I got shorts with blood on it. And it was cool. This is my 21st fight with the company. It was cool the first three, four. Yeah. But 21 pairs of hand wraps and bloody gloves and shorts are kind of start. It's gross now. And uh, if it's just lying around in a, in, a, in, in my closet somewhere, I could be using it for the good or, or helping somebody. So that's what I, that's where it came from. Yeah, we raised 3,000 meals for families who needed it in, uh, in my hometown of Lafayette, Louisiana. I'm going to do this for the rest of my career. Every time I fight, I'm going to auction everything off or sell it. or It's going to go to a charity, but it's going to be, for the most part, a, a local charity that affects my immediate community in Lafayette, Louisiana, where I'm from. Uh, in this case, this fight, I'm selling my, my fight kit or auctioning it off again, and uh, the money's going straight to the family of a, of a police officer who lost his life in the line of duty last month in my hometown, you know, uh, across the street from a high school I went to. So whatever is going on at the time, whoever needs it, I'll try to do my best to make sure it gets to them. And and, uh, and also not any big companies. It's going to go directly to, when I sell this fight kit, I'm going to hand the check directly to the to the wife of the officer who lost his life.